Hi there, welcome to the how to compose your song in Guitar Pro tutorial series. My name is Vedanch and I'll be your guide on getting acquainted with Guitar Pro. A little about me, I'm a guitarist, I play in two bands, Unsure Uncertain and Revolt 4 and I enjoy making music. You can check my music at the following links. Here's my YouTube channel if you wish to check out some videos. Before we begin, let's take a quick look at what this video series has in store for us. This section of videos will take a peek into composing an intro track of a song and cover up a lot of basics while at it. Let's see what this section is made up of. The first video will give you an overview of the software, a few things you should know before moving ahead, and understand what we'll be achieving in this tutorial series. In the second video, we'll go through a few essentials, understand the interface, and set up our new project so that we're ready to compose our tune. In the third video, we'll compose the lead and rhythm guitar tunes, and while at it, learn some technical stuff about counting and writing music. We will also check out how to tie notes to compose a wide variety of sound lengths. In the fourth and the last video, we'll compose the drum and bass guitar parts for our tune. We will also take a look at the various instrument sounds available and learn compound copy pasting to make composing more easy. So let's get started and I hope you fire it up. Guitar Pro is a great tool to learn songs, compose trial tracks, experiment with various instruments, well, the list just goes on. If you want more information on the software product, check the following link. Or check the official site for Guitar Pro 6. Guitar Pro 6 has a lot of new options to offer, but Guitar Pro 5 has all the basic functionalities one needs. So, I personally reverted to Guitar Pro 5 after using Guitar Pro 6. You're free to use either. You may check the following link for a comparison between Guitar Pro 5 and 6. If you're a musician who wants an interface to arrange all those tunes bobbing in your head, you've come to the right place. If you're still learning an instrument, search no more. This software product will teach you almost everything. The only thing you need is a musical instrument at arm's reach or some experience playing one. If you're looking for pre-built sounds and wish to arrange them to make your own tracks, Guitar Pro does not do that. You may try digital audio workstations or DAWs such as FL Studio, Logic Pro or Ableton. In these set of videos, we're going to learn how to compose the intro tune to one of my songs. Let's hear the final output of the Guitar Pro file. Now let's hear how it sounds with live instruments. To get this kind of output, you need to get into a studio. But before that, you need to ensure all your notes are correct, your keyboards are breathtaking and your drum beats are groovy enough. Not to mention the guitar of Sukachi, the bass is gelling well and your send person show that everything sounds amazing together. Remember that while you're playing your instrument, half your brain is occupied with playing the instrument itself and only half of it is listening to the tune. So it's a very good idea to listen to the tunes after keeping the instrument away so as to hear it from an audience or listener's point of view. If you have a dedicated band, you can try recording your track in the jam room. If not, a digital audio workstation or Guitar Pro is your best buddy. If you haven't already installed Guitar Pro, you can download and install it from the following link. The download is free, but the trial period lasts for only 15 days. 
You may find all the reference links shown in the video in the description below. Now that we've done a background check on the tool, set a goal, and taken a look at the prerequisites, let's dive into Gita Pro and take a look at the interface. See you in the next video.